Hey, what is up, guys? It is Card Shuffler 99 here, and today we are going to be showing you guys one of the most prized and valuable card tricks or card moves that David Blaine actually popularized in his TV special. Now, he did not actually create this move, he did make it really popular, and a lot of people to this day know it as the David Blaine snap change, uh, but he did not actually create the move. Now, this is what we're going to be teaching you guys today because it's one of the most popular moves and it's one of the most well-recognized moves in the world. However, at the same time, there's so many magicians out there who, you know, ignore the power of this specific effect and decide to sort of ignore it and not use it in their everyday magic. So we definitely think that a lot of people don't know how to actually perform this move. So we're going to try to give you guys the full tutorial today. Uh, what we're going to do is teach you guys how to incorporate it into different magic tricks. And at the same time, we're going to give you guys uh, different ways to perform it uh, and basically elevate the level of the snap change. So once again, this is probably known to be one of the exact moves that is relevant to David Blaine's success. Uh, so it's definitely really popular for everybody in this world, okay? So anyway, we're going to teach you guys that today. If you guys want to enter our giveaway, we are giving away $50 in Amazon gift cards. All you have to do is like this video, comment something in the comment section, and be subscribed to our channel. That is it. Anyway, without wasting any more time, uh, let's get straight into this tutorial on David Blaine's million dollar card trick. So guys, if you did not know what the simplest version of the snap change looks like, this is basically what it looks like, guys, right here. Just like that, that is what the snap change looks like. That is the simplest form of the snap change. And once again, we are going to teach you many vari variations, you know, how to hide the evidence, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and learn the simplest form of the snap change. Let's get right into it. So if you didn't really know, there are two cards involved and they're just one behind the other just like this. And basically what's happening is you're snapping your fingers just like in the name. All you're doing is you're snapping your fingers and one of the cards is now hiding behind the other and you'll see in a little bit. So let's get into the grip of the snap change here. So for lefties, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your index finger and your middle finger and you're gonna place it at the bottom corner of the card just like this. All right, guys, and then your thumb will be directly in line with your middle finger, but on the other side of the card. So as you can see here, my middle finger is at the bottom and my thumb is also at the bottom, exactly in line. Now, a couple things, do not put your fingers like this, because if you put it like that, the snap change will not work. And if you go too close, you know, to the tip of the card, it's it's not going to work either. So it's got to be, you know, around an inch, like uh, inwards to the card, just like that. And then for righties, it would just be simply the opposite, just like that. That's the grip for the snap change. Once you're in there, once you have the grip, from here, you're going to start the snap. So it's really just like snapping your fingers, but there's a little more, you know, to it just, just instead of that. So from here, what's going to happen is you're going to snap your fingers. Now, you're going to, with your, um, here we go, guys, with your thumb, what you're going to do is you're going to apply a little more pressure. Well, with your index finger, you're going to release pressure while your thumb ap applies pressure. And what I mean by this is your index finger is going to release. Your, f your index finger is going to stop touching the car this uh, top card completely. It's done touching this card once you start the change like this. There's no pressure on it. Now, clearly, that's a little exaggerated. You're not actually going to go like that during the, you know, when you're actually performing it. But... You're, you're actually going to release your pre your pressure on the card just a little bit, just like that. Not too much. No pressure there anymore. So when you release pressure here, that's when the snap starts to happen. This is what's happening going to snap. Your thumb is going to be pushing this card, this back, the card behind here, forward while your middle finger is taking this top card and bringing it below. And what I mean by this, so pressure is released, you're going to start pushing just like that and you can see what happens here this is the start of the snap change right there just the thumb pushing this card forward just like that and for righties like this just like that that's the start of the snap change so basically no pressure and you're going to start the snap change just like that i would just start practicing just like that and just do it quickly bam just like that just start doing that and then you'll continue on from there so once you basically got that movement down, just doing that, you're ready to move on. 
From here, what you're going to do is once you get pat, you you know once you get to this movement, once you get to right about here, what you're going to do with your index finger is you're going to reapply the pressure that you took off. Now remember, you're just snapping your fingers here almost. So this part is just like snapping your fingers, just like that. And after you take off the pressure, your index finger is going to I guess connect or basically touch start touching this card. And what happens when you do this, right? When I start pushing on this card with my index finger, just like that, what happens is that, and that will get this card completely hidden. So from here for righties, basically start, and your index finger is basically going to touch the top of the card and help push it forward. Now, while this is all happening, your middle finger and your thumb are still going, you know, opposite directions, just like that. So they're going opposite directions, so your thumb's still pushing up, your middle finger is dragging this card down just like that, and your index finger will be pushing up on the card just like that. And basically what's happening is the cards are splitting right here, and you're going to put pressure with your index finger while your middle finger continues to glide backward just like that, and then your thumb and your index finger will grab the card like that. Now that's the snap change. Um, very simplified here, guys. One more time. You're releasing pressure with your index finger. You start to snap. You're really pushing with your middle finger this way, your thumb that way. And then you reapply pressure, and it will basically finish the snap change for you. So basically, guys, that's the snap change. And let's get into the angles of the snap change. Now, clearly, you cannot be doing an angle like that. That's clearly not going to work, guys. An angle like that, you know, it's not going to work. The, basically, it's only... Uh, it's not something you, you can do to like a group of people. It's something, you know, maybe three, two, you know, maybe one person. And the angle is right here, right at their eyes. Now, you cannot be like this or, you know, they'll see it. So it's it's very sensitive angle movement or uh, my bad there, guys, a trick. From here, we're going to teach you some variations of what you can do. Now, how you can hide this and make it look better. When you're doing the snap change like this, guys, right? I mean, it looks good, but, you know, you want to add some variation to it. So you want to add some stuff that can hide it a little bit more. So, and also you need, you need to know how to get rid of the evidence. So what, what are you going to do from right here? So let's learn how to do that. So one way you can do this is you can flick the card just like this right before you do the snap change. So basically you're flicking the card while you do the snap change. So it's like, it's almost like that you, this will take a lot of practice guys, but you're going to be Flicking the card while you do the snap change just like that and what that will do is that will make a little sound and that distracts the spectator a little bit so when you're snapping You're doing the snap change and you flick the cards. It does help distract the spectator just like that now clearly you guys You know you guys can see what's going on, but Another thing you can do uh, we're going to give credit to uh, 52 cards for this is What you can do is to get rid of some evidence what you can do is you can go around the card like this. So you have the deck in your hand, which, you know, you're doing a trick or something. You're going to have the deck in your hand, right? So you're going to be right about here doing this. You, you go around once, and then you go around the second time, and you do the snap change just like that. And what you're going to do is you're with the deck, you're going to pick up the evidence on the way up. And that gets rid of the evidence completely, which makes the snap change a lot more cleaner, right? Because, you know, people see you do the snap change, and they're like, wait a second. Well, couldn't that card, you know, be right behind there? But when you're doing this method, it allows you to get rid of the evidence completely. So one more time, what you're going to be doing, guys, is you're going to go around once. Then you're going to go around twice. And when you get to right about in front of their faces, you're going to do a snap change very quickly, just like that. And then from here, you can go ahead and pick up the card, just like that. Get rid of all the evidence, which is pretty cool. Maybe do a Charlier or something. doesn't really matter. Just get rid of the evidence completely. And then you can go ahead and show that it's only their card there. Now, guys, another way you can do the snap change. I don't really exactly uh, recommend this, but if you guys want to, you can do it with the cards vertical. And basically, it's the same exact motion, except the cards are vertical. So you're going to grip it you know, closer to the bottom of the card, just like that. And you're just doing the same exact thing. The cards are lined up. And all you're doing is you're just snapping your fingers. Now, this one is a little bit more angle sensitive, as you can see here, guys. 
because the card is longer and it's sticking out like this, you have to be very careful with your angles there. But once again, that is another way you can do it. You can do it this way or this way. I prefer this way. But one more thing, guys, how you guys can incorporate this into a trick. It's very simple. It's basically where you'd be doing, you know, let's say a double lift or something. It doesn't really matter. You're doing a double lift. And basically what's happening is you pick up on two cards. So let's say you just have these two cards right here. You're doing a double lift. And you're going to pick up the cards and you're going to ask, was this your card? And their card is actually, their card is actually on top, right? And you're doing your double lift and you're like, was this their, your card? They're going to be no, right? That was definitely not my card. And then that's when you do the snap change. You just pick up the double lift, you do the snap change. And from there, you know, their card appears. So that is basically the snap change. Hopefully we taught you guys some really cool stuff. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and this card shuffler. 99. Peace out.